What up, family? It's your boy, SN TV man. Coming back at y'all with another true story. All right, this story right here going to be another story coming off the 800 block of Walla, man. This story is going to be about a guy that went by the name of Fish. Actually, he was a shorty for real when he died. He died at like 14. But shorty had everybody in my hood like super scared of him. You know what I'm saying? And here's the reason why. Let me start from the beginning. So, like I told y'all in my last story about Toto, man. Rest in peace, Toto. Um, Walla, Parkside, uh, Massasoit, Mason. We was all like family in that area. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody fuck with everybody. And this was like in the 90s, so... You know, if you know anything about the West Side, the West Side ain't, ain't, ain't never been like the South Side where niggas just gung-ho. We always been kind of like somewhat organized. You know what I'm saying? So the big homies are always, if there's some bullshit going on, they're always getting in the middle of it before it get too deep most of the time. You know? Because if a nigga did, went off and did something crazy, then... He'll get violated. He'll get a punk ahead deluxe. You feel me? Like, back then, that's what it was. Like, the big homies had control over the gangs and the blocks and shit, the organization. So, niggas just wasn't too tough to just run off and just do shit, you know? But, um, yeah, like I said, you know, that whole little area, we was like family. Everybody knew everybody. Everybody fuck with everybody. And the ones who didn't fuck with each other, y'all just stay away from each other. I don't know what necessarily what block Fish was from. Because from what I heard, he used to terrorize other blocks too in the era, in the area. You know what I'm saying? Like my cousin told me one time, my cousin off Huron. So my cousin told me one time, like, shit, you know, Fish used to come around. That was the bullshit too. You feel me? And I, at, at this time, I'm probably like, I'm probably like nine or 10, but I still remember this vividly because all of the guys on the block, like most of the people on the block were scared as hell of fish. But now the reason why they were scared of fish, it wasn't necessarily just him. Fish was like a dog whisperer. You know what I'm saying? Fish used to show up every time fish came, man, he'll have like five or six dogs with him. No less than two, three dogs with him. You know what I'm saying? And he had these dogs that will attack you on his command. So when Fish came through the hood, man, Fish was like Debo. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas was on some shit like, man, Fish coming. Who? Nigga, Fish. It's time to go in the house type shit. Like he was really like that. And like I said, part of the reason was because of the dogs. Like he was real, real good with dogs. I think in my 34 years of living, I probably never seen nobody that was just good with dogs like Fish was. And Fish had all type of dogs, man. Fish had little dogs. Fish had big dogs. Fish had pit bulls, Rottweilers, German Shepherds. Motherfucker might pull up with a child. Fish might pull up with a poodle. And if he say, if he, that motherfucker gonna attack you. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, my, you know, my big brother and my big cousins and all them, you know what I'm saying? They was like, they like four years older than me and shit like that. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm looking up to them and I'm seeing them. You know, get out the way. Motherfuckers get little when fish come. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, of course, shit, I'm, I'm going in the house too. Bro, I'm going in the house. I'm going in the house too. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody get up out of there because ain't no telling who he going to sick the motherfucking dogs on. And uh, fish did this shit, man, for like, this shit lasted for like a summer. Like, I remember one summer, man. Fish just got on some more shit the way he just felt like he could just terrorize the whole motherfucking west side. Like, he was going everywhere doing this shit, walking with these dogs. Every time he pull up, scam motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, making motherfuckers go in the house on some real tough guy shit. And Fish, now that I think about it, man, Fish might have been a cool nigga. Fish might have wanted to just come and play with everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of times when Fish came, he, niggas wasn't even trying to see what Fish was talking about, bro. It's just like, man, Fish pulling up, man, we finna go in the house. Like, you know, but I have seen times where Fish got on some old shit and he sicked his dogs on people. I have seen that a couple times. You know what I'm saying? But uh, like I said, you know, Fish was, Fish was on some tough guy shit. And 
had a lot of people scared of him. So, this one specific time, Fish was trying to steal a dog. Fish was trying to steal a dog. That's what he did. He stole the dogs that he had. He would go steal them. Fish could walk in a, the backyard of a vicious dog, bro, and he could get that dog. Fish was one of the only niggas I know that could do that. Like, we had a dog down the street named Buster. You know what I'm saying? Buster would never fuck with Fish. You know what I'm saying? But if Fish wanted to get that dog, Fish could have got that dog. He had, he was like on some Dr. Doolittle shit when it came to dogs. You know? So, in another sense, when you look at it like that, the man had a talent. He was just using it for the wrong reason. But anyway, Fish was trying to steal a dog. And the owner of the dog, you know what I'm saying, came out there while Fish was trying to steal a dog. And he tried to get the dog to attack Fish, but the dog wouldn't attack Fish. So, Fish finna get ready to take the man's dog. The man get the scuffling with Fish. And while this is going on, dude pull out a knife. Dude end up stabbing Fish up. Shout out Dirty Red. Um, Dirty Red remembered this. Me and him talked about this, uh, this story or whatever. I think he said it was his cousin that actually uh, ended up killing Fish. But, um, yeah, Fish ended up getting stabbed in the neck. And after Fish died, I can remember people putting up, not necessarily murals, but they were just, they were just you know, they were spray painting, uh, like, apartment buildings around our hood and shit. And I remember seeing uh, Fish make the world go round on, like, five or six apartment buildings. So... You know, it was a lot of people that probably the old, some of the older, older guys fuck with fish. You know what I'm saying? The guys that were, that was like older than him and wasn't around his age, and that once scared of him, they fucked with him. You know what I'm saying? And fish died when he was like I said, 14 years old. But he was definitely a legend in the hood, man. He was a legend in our hood, man. So you know, rest in peace, fish. And uh, you know, one thing about being a tough guy dissing and having a lot of motherfuckers scared of you. You gonna always be the first to die every time. It's never gonna fail. You gonna always be the first one to go. Why? Because I know that as long as the, the, the body still got a head on it, I ain't got no chance. But you cut the head off, the body gonna die every time. You know? Like, if I get the one that's gonna do the most damage out the way, I got a chance on winning. If I don't, me getting the peons out the way, nine times out of ten, man, I'm going to end up losing. Because the thinker or the muscle is still right here. That's why uh, it's a movie called Blue Hill Avenue. I don't know if y'all seen it or not, but uh, it had uh, Alan Payne in it. And Alan Payne was the thinker. But the big dude, I forgot what his name was in the movie, he was like the muscle. And uh, it was a guy, an older guy, that was trying to basically knock their little crew off because their little crew had took over. And he had been doing his thing for a minute, but they was, you know, they was making their way in. And he basically, like, had a muscle backdoor by his own father. But he did that because he knew that in order for the big dude was named Simon. Yeah, a lot of y'all seen that movie. That was his name, Simon. He got Simon knocked off because he knew that, guess what? In order for me to beat them in the war or take them down, I got to knock their muscle out the way. You feel me? So, man, all that tough guy shit that a lot of y'all be on, man, y'all might as well kill it. Because believe me, if a motherfucker slide on y'all and they got their pick and choose on who they going to take out, or if a motherfucker looking for y'all, nine times out of ten, they're going to look for the toughest guy first. Real talk. They're going to look for the motherfuckers who got the most bodies. They're going to look for the motherfuckers who doing the most dissing. And they're going to look for the motherfuckers who got the most money. That's just what it is, man. This is another true story, man. I'm going to try to drop one as much as I could, man. Y'all already know. It's your boy, SNTV. I'm out.